and welcome to the Trading Through Coronavirus podcast or videocast if you're watching this online. It's a week now since the UK effectively went into lockdown as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. I'm joined down the line now by James Drury, the Chief Executive of the Chambers of Commerce at Business West. James, how's Bristol responded to this situation so far? Well, we're a week now into uh, isolation and I have to say I've seen and witnessed a huge amount going on um, across the city, across the business community, across the councils, a lot of the public agencies and the voluntary community. I think pulling together in a way which certainly I haven't seen before. Uh, a phenomenal amount of going on, a lot of kind of what I'd describe as community spirited activity, people doing and, and trying things clearly in a, an environment which is challenging because the vast majority of people are now working from home and adjusting to that what that means in terms of how they operate uh, and what they do. But uh, also, how do they make things happen, so how do they move things quickly? Because I think above all in this current environment, I think particularly for business, pace and speed is really important. Uh, we know we have businesses uh, of all shapes and sizes, but particularly the smaller ones and the self-employed who are absolutely up against it in terms of cash flow, liquidity, looking hard at their essential costs. Uh, some of them have had their customers literally just stopped overnight and they're trying to work through this and they need as much support and help as they can. How have you as an organisation um, facilitated the sort of bringing together of different um, uh, sort of um, businesses and organisations and, and uh, initiatives to try and uh, answer these these problems that the businesses are facing? So we have moved as quickly as we possibly can. We've established an internal task force uh, we've got as much access internally, but also been reaching out to our members. And we created a thing called Trading Through Coronavirus, a, a portal and a hub, but really a virtual team of people who are out there on the ground, who are trying to uh, triage, listen to what business wants and needs, and actually how we can either connect that into what, uh, through through the national chambers, British chambers that we're part of, uh, get that, that voice heard at the national level, but also at a local level, uh, see how we can connect them to the kind of support that's out there from uh, a number of different sources. Yes, our councils, but also some of the, the, the banks, some of the professional services firms and others where there are some operational or some really uh, pressing issues. They just don't know where to turn and they are dealing with issues which they just haven't had and they haven't had coming at them at, at this kind of speed and with this kind of um, crisis, really, that is, is, the, is the word I would use. So in your in your uh, in your your job, you obviously you, you're liaising with a lot of businesses. What are the the kind of key issues that organisations are, are, are coming to you with at the moment? Do you know through the trading through coronavirus hub, uh, we've had uh, in, in fact just last week over 250 questions and queries from people. But as as well as asking for people to express their views and concerns, also we're asking for officers offers of support and what they can contribute and help to support and uh, so we've had a combination of those but we've been working through um, uh, issues around certainly how do people tackle their workforce and the whole this whole new word that's come out around furloughing staff how do you do it what are the restrictions how quickly can I do it uh, what does it mean in terms of can I use those workers uh, uh, even in a, in a part-time way um, but also around some of the, the finance and tax issues. I mean, everything in government terms has been pushed back three months for, for, for a period of time. But businesses are having to look at grants. They're having to look at potentially loans. They're looking at uh, measures which have been coming thick and fast on a 24 hourly basis and understand that and make some sense of it. What we're there to do is try and provide some sort of support. And if we can't directly help, clearly it's about how do we immediately connect people through to people that can help and are in a position to, to do so. So um, it's difficult to describe one or particular different areas, but I think it is a majority of some of the hospitality businesses, uh, some of the smaller construction businesses, for instance, uh, have been talking to us around key issues which they are suffering from at this moment and right now. And um, from a, um, a obviously a, a business perspective, the, 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 there's been a massive change in the way that organisations are are having to, uh, to, to operate with uh, staff working from home how have the organizations and businesses you've you've spoken to coped with that particular um transition has that been an easy one for people no not at all i think um there are clearly some some of our business sectors you know we we're, we're have a strong food sector in this part of the world and you know we have food producers and our distribution system which are working in overtime to try and keep keep food in 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 our 
on, on to, into our into our uh, supermarkets clearly now. Um, I think we're seeing a whole uh, raft of different businesses innovating and adapting. Clearly, I think uh, people are seeing their local uh, pubs, their local uh, uh, other other venues and restaurants adapting to offering takeaway food, but also doing other things. So, you know, for instance, my own uh, uh, a local pub is is turned itself into a shop in the last ten days and is offering all sorts of different things to try and support people. Uh, and I think we're finding networks creating very quickly through, particularly through digital means, which is is heartening to see. But I think the concern is how long will this issue go on for? And I think nobody's quite clear whether this is going to be a few weeks. It's going to be a number of months. And I think um, we are trying to trying to hope, and we will get to a point of stabilisation before too long. But I think clearly there are some critical um, services which need to continue to operate. Uh, and I've seen certainly through my role working with Bristol Mayor Marvin Rees and a whole team of people around the city and the city region, I think partners pulling together uh, and understanding that actually now more than ever else, we've got to work with the health issues, of course, first and foremost, and, and respect the social distancing. But actually also we've got to keep our businesses and our organisations going. And, f- you know, for those who have got time and have got resources, how can you deploy that in a different way, at least for a, for a period of time, to try and help that bigger, that bigger cause which is now out there? How much do you think businesses need to be thinking a little bit longer term? I mean, we've obviously people have been dropped into the situation of changing their working practices overnight. OK, uh, but the, the timescales seem to move on a daily basis from two or three weeks to up to six months. So how much do you think businesses now need to respond and start having more of a long term COVID plan in place? I think it's it's quite difficult. In fact, it's very difficult for a lot of business to, to at the moment to think about medium or longer term. I think people have gone into essential business mode uh, and have had to do that incredibly quickly. Lots of businesses have had to shut their doors and some of the organisations across the city. You know, we've got a fantastic, strong visitor economy here, but, you know, all our visitor attractions, our hotels, uh, restaurants, etc., have all had to close their doors largely. And suddenly, they, how do they, they uh, stabilise their businesses so that they will be ready? Clearly, there are some people in those organisations that will be tasked with thinking about where they need to be in a few weeks' time, in a few months' time. But also, you know, what what is this going to shift? And clearly there is, you know, above, above all, it, it's it's about taking this absolutely seriously in, the, in health terms. But there are, I think, some, some innovations and shifts going on, which will, I think will change working practices and the way that we operate. Uh, and there will be some positives, absolutely, that will come of this. And I think uh, enable us to make some progress around a longer term, what we think is a uh, a, a, glo- a growth strategy for the area, more clean growth, more what describes inclusive growth, growth that works for the whole of the population here. So there are, I know there are a number of people uh, in the councils and elsewhere that we're having a, a dialogue, thinking a bit further ahead about when we get the recovery going, how do we create a really strong sense of um, growth, which is, uh, an, is, is able to basically um, sustain itself into the future. But I think, you know, Bristol has got a strong economy in its city region here. We will, and we've got a very strong sense of community here. People are pulling together, as I said, in a way that I've never seen before. And I think we're seeing innovation, social innovation, economic innovation. And I think that uh, things will stabilise, but for the time period, we've got to focus on asking businesses to come and talk to us with either challenges, opportunities, ideas, you know, uh, so that we can really help to uh, 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 focus on them operating now and in, in, in the longer term. Thanks for joining us, James. Don't forget, if you want to keep up to date with what's going on or actually have some questions that you need uh, answered, to check out the uh, the website tradingthroughcoronavirus.co.uk, subscribe to our channels or follow the hashtag, hashtag tradingthroughcoronavirus. Stay safe. Stay safe.